Well, 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 here's Mama Bloom's brood. Papa has thought of something before Sidney and Harold. The boys were all set to talk Papa into going into the movie business in Hollywood when Papa threw a bombshell into the discussion by announcing that he had already purchased an interest in Accelo Pictures Corporation. Just now we find Papa and Mama in their apartment. Papa is very happy. <laughs> Papa. Papa, what's the matter with you? Well, I can't help laughing when I think of those boys' faces. You shouldn't laugh at their faces, Trace. They can't help the ones they got. Uh, it's not very polite to make fun of them. Uh, you don't understand, Mama. I don't mean that. I mean, how they look when I told them I bought an interest in the movie business. Oh. Yeah. Papa. Yeah? Yeah, Maggie? I want that you should sit down now and tell me something. All right, Mama. All right. I'll do anything now. I don't want you should do anything. Maybe you would do something very foolish. Who, me? All I want is that you should be telling me how a smart man like you are is buying something like a movie business. But uh, why not, Mama? Why not? I will tell you, Jake. In the new pants business, you are very smart. Thank you. Maybe smarter than anybody else in the same business. Mm -hmm. But the movie business? Papa, maybe it's going to be like the old saying. You shouldn't go to the well with the same bucket once too many times. Mama, sometimes you get so mixed up, you even take me along. Two minutes ago, I was a very happy man. But now I'm so mixed up, I don't know why I was happy. You was happy because you're in some business that you don't know nothing about. <laughs> That's right. I... Huh? What do you mean I don't know anything about? Do you? Mama, I... But, but... Who told you I didn't? Uh, maybe a little boy. Maybe I told myself. Yeah. Now, look, Mama, didn't I see the studios? Didn't I see how the pictures was manufactured? Didn't I talk to Mr. Dearborn for a long, long time? Yeah, yeah, Jake. So you did all those things, and now you will sit down and tell me what you know about the moving picture business. All right, Mama, all right. I will tell you, uh, 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 but I... Uh, <clears throat> well, well, Mama, I'll tell you later. Jake, you'll tell me now. I'm very interested. But, Mama, in five minutes should I tell you everything I know? Maybe it wouldn't take that long. Yeah. Uh-huh. Go ahead, Jake, huh? Stop telling me, because I'm listening like a moose. Moose. Listen, Becky, I... I, I uh, Jake. I, yeah? Look at me. What's the matter with you, Mama? Should there be something the matter with me that I want you to look at me? I want that you should look right at me and tell me what you know about the movie. All right, Mama, I... I... All right, Mama, so maybe I don't know anything about the moving picture business. <laughs> Night comes down. Then why did you go into the movie business, huh? Mm. Maybe you should buy a airplane and fly it because you don't know nothing about airplanes. But I... Or maybe you should raise pigs. Not pigs, Mama, please, not pigs. Never mind. Uh. Jake, why did you do it? Uh, Mama, don't be mad at me. I, <laughs> I just couldn't help it, you see. Oh, Jake, uh, Jake. Huh? <laughs> I know why. You do? Then why did you ask me? Because I knew you didn't know. So I'm going to tell you. All the time we are on a vacation, you are fudgety. You are very nervous because you are away from business. Mm. Some people like to play bridge. <laughs> Not me. Maybe some other people like to be doing something else. Yeah. But Jacob Bloom, he ain't happy unless he's being in business. <laughs> Mama, darling, you know something? Mm. I love you. <laughs> 
Ah, Jake, I know you like our magazine. You're not mad at me, Mama. Ah, Papa, that's very foolish. Why should I be mad? It's like this. I'm seeing that because you are taking a vacation, you are getting very nervous. When you get nervous, you get very aggravated. When you're that way, then you're very unhappy. Jake, we should be happy all the time. And when you're in business, you worry. And you're happy when you worry. I think, Jake, that you're the only one in the world who's happy when he worries. That's very foolish. Ah, but you can't make a zebra change his spots. <laughs> ah, Mama, I'm glad we talked like this. Makes me feel better all over. Mm -hmm. Now you're happy again, happy. huh? Happy. <laughs> I get happy all over me when I think I put one over on Sydney and Harold. Those two, they think they're pretty smart. But this time, I am smarter. But, Papa, what are they going to do for a living? Well, I don't want you should tell them. But I really think they are very smart. So yeah. I'll let them work for me in the movie business. But this time, there will be no fancy offices, nothing. Because I will run the business. All right, Papa, you will run the business. Now, Mama, I want you should remember something. In case you should be forgetting? No, 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 please listen to me. I want you should remember that no matter what Sidney and Harold say, no matter what Sidney and Harold do, I don't want you should stick up for them, because I want to handle this all by myself. Jake, you shouldn't build your bridges behind you until you get there. Uh, Mama, what, what kind of a saying is that? I bet even you can straighten out that one. It's very simple, Papa. I meant you shouldn't think about Sidney and Harold until you have to. Yeah, I tried that for a long time in New York, but I even had dreams about them. Jake, maybe you should see a doctor. You shouldn't dream. Uh, never mind. But I'm telling you, Mama, that this time I am going to be the boss. Nobody is going to run my business yeah. for me, not even my son-in-law. Yeah, all right, Papa, all right. Look at you, you're waking yourself up into our cold leather. Leather, Mama, leather. So you should be shaving then. Uh, but, Papa, please don't get excited. You bought the business, yeah? Sidney and Harold didn't even know it until you told them about it. So why are you getting excited? I just want to make sure they don't butt in in my business this time like they did in a knee pants factory. It's your business, Papa. You run it the way you should be wanting to run it and nobody can Who think. is that Schlemiel honking like a goose outside? Don't give a look, Papa. You haven't got proper eyes that you can bend around corners. Give a look out the window. All right, all right. I, I... Oh, it's Sarah. Hello, hello, Sarah. Sarah, come on out. Jake, huh? don't howl out the window like that. They're not living in the Bronx. That somebody should be listening in the backyard. But it's Sarah. I know it's Sarah. And now everybody for a hundred miles around knows that it's Sarah. Mama, don't be foolish. I can't holler that loud. Almost. You who, darling? Come on, hop. Mama, you know something? <laughs> you hollered just then. Jake, I was defined about it. I didn't yell like an ox. Oh, I see. Well, ain't she coming up? What's she doing on a sit-down strike in the car? Papa, I'm not a mind reader that I should know what she's doing down there. I will ask her. Yeah. Sarah! Are you sick that you can't come up? Come on down. Put on your hats and coats. Put on our hats and coats? She wants to take us for a ride, Jake. Ain't that lovely? Yeah. Sydney and Harold ain't there. I wouldn't like that business of wanting to take me for a ride. All right, all right, we'll go down. Yeah, yeah, hurry up, Papa, don't keep her waiting. Hey, tie the shoelaces, uh, come on, uh, huh? Uh, Mama, Creek? don't rush me. <laughs> These shoelaces. Nobody's in a hurry, Mama. Sarah can wait a minute. Next time, remember to get them two inches longer. <laughs> oh! <laughs> there, so, no? All right, I'm ready. All right, all right, come on, Jake, come, come on. on. And look, Jake, yeah? I don't want it when you're with Sarah or yes, that you should make smart cracks about the boys. Huh? No, they married our daughters, and they must be very lovely boys, or Sarah and Yetta would not have married them. So this is that. All right, so we shouldn't have an argument about it. This is that. Jake, it's never an argument when you and me talk. Never. Yeah, I know, Mama, but sometimes it gets very close to it. Very close. So it gets close, but it never gets into a argument. No, Mama, it never gets... <laughs> hey, you made it down in a hurry. <sighs> it shouldn't take us all day to walk down one flight of stairs. Why didn't you use the elevator? I can't get in it when Papa's with me. Back it, back it. It's true, Papa. <laughs> Everything is so big in Hollywood, they ain't got room left over for the hell of it. Yeah. Well, never mind that now. I thought I'd drop around to see if you were going to the studios today. Yes, yes, I was. Why? I want you to take me along. I'm so thrilled, Pa. Mm, so is Papa, Sarah. All right, we'll go. But what will we do there? I don't know, Papa. You bought the business. You ought to find out what to do. Uh, well, uh... well, come on, get in. Uh... Um, well, Becky, get in, get Jake, in. if you push, I'll be very aggravated. Uh -huh. <sighs> so, hey, come on, Papa, Well, come on. give me the hand. Oh, oh, Mama, you come oh, on. Oh, there. <laughs> Go? All right, sir, all right. Sarah, where's Yetta? Oh, she and Harold went someplace. I believe they went to the beach. Why didn't you and Sidney go? He said he had something else to do. Uh, something else? What was it? 
I don't know, but I guess it wasn't important that he would have told me. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Pa, aren't you all thrilled about being in the movie business? <laughs> he will tell you better when he finds out what the movie business is about. Mama, I know what it is about, Bob. Well, you couldn't tell me before. How could you find out now? Well, <laughs> it's never too late to learn, and with Sidney and Harold, why? What? With who? Why, Sidney and Harold? Uh, Sarah, <laughs> look at the lovely palm trees. Ain't they how we get... Mama, yeah. don't change the subject. What did you say about Sidney and Harold, Sarah? Papa, look at you. You're getting all rosy in the face like you were suntanned. You ain't even been to the beach, so don't get excited. I huh? want to know what she said about Sydney and Harold. Well, gee, there isn't that much to get excited about. I just assumed that they were coming into the business with you. Sarah, this is not the knee pants business. This is mine own business. Maybe later I will give Sydney and Harold jobs. But right now I want to be alone. When you're alone, you get lonesome. You shouldn't wish for things like that. I like to be alone. All alone. Especially all alone from Sydney and Harold. Oh, boy, you old bear. You don't mean half what you say. You're right. I mean all of it. Oh, hey, look. That's the suit you already. Mm. Uh-huh. I took a shortcut. I guess we can drive right in, can't we? Well, that's both part of the business. I guess I can go in. <laughs> go ahead, sir. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Uh, I am Jacob Bloom. Yes, sir, Mr. Bloom. Go right in. Oh. <laughs> he knows you, Papa. Sure, sure. Anybody who don't know the man who's helping to pay the salaries is crazy. Uh, there's the building I go in. Uh, Sarah, stop here. Okay, Pa. Yeah. Mama, yeah. don't be in such a hurry. You're stepping... I'm in the office, Jake. Yeah, all right, all right. Uh, well, you know, go in here. Oh, my, my, my. There are lots of offices. You ain't going to use all of them, Papa. Oh, no, Mama, no. No. What's that man doing? What man? Why, he's, he's painting something. Yeah, so long he keeps busy, I should care. Papa, hmm? I bet he's going to paint your name on that door. <laughs> sure, oh. Becky, sure. I told him to... Oh, uh, he ain't <laughs> that lovely. Let's watch him, Papa, yeah? Oh, you can always see a man paint a name on a door. Let's look around for well, him. Wait a minute, sir. I want to see if he spells it right. Yeah, it's a tough one to spell. Maybe you can help me out. The guy that wrote it uh, don't write very good. Well, it's very easy, so long you know English. Well, let me see it. Uh... Right here in the paper, see? Oh, sure, sure. <laughs> it's uh, S C H I F F B E I N. What? <laughs> it's that. Oi, there is Smith. Mama, Mama, you hear what I spelled? Did, did you hear? <laughs> it's Sidney's name. Uh -huh. 